Well, what a great panel and what a great day. I'm Martha Broad from MIT Energy Initiative, and my job is to close us out and wrap us up from an amazing and inspiring two days. So yesterday and today, we heard a lot of expertise um, and a lot of stories and facts about accelerating the clean energy transition. We need to not just recover from where we are right now economically and socially and health-wise. Um, we need to come back stronger. And we just heard about resilience um, and how important that is to be incorporated. We were reminded about PG&E. That's really interesting statement that they're the first company to go bankrupt because of climate change. That's very interesting and really makes sense. Um, we talked about, we learned about moving more quickly and strategically to get to net zero with job growth, but then we were also reminded by our equity panel that it's not just about jobs, it's about seeking input and sharing benefits with traditionally overlooked communities of color um, to attain a just transition. And our technology panelists yesterday recognized that and reminded us that we've made a lot of progress, so there's reasons to be positive and optimistic about what we've seen in terms of the decreasing cost of various different clean energy technologies, uh, independent of government intervention. But we know we have a long way to go. Um, we heard from our keynotes, Kate Gordon and Christina Johnson, they shared really meaningful stories about their challenges and achievements. And by the way, if you have missed parts of the symposium, we understand people's schedules are busy, but there will be recordings and we will uh, let you know when those are available. So I'm so impressed with our poster presenters and I hope that some of you got a chance to meet them. Um, we, I had a chance to see some great presentations and have some conversations with them and congratulations to all of our awardees. Um, you're all amazing and we've had a lot of fun celebrating you and we've learned a lot from you. Um, so I've gotten some shout outs, but I really need to uh, wrap up by saying this was a very much a team effort and our planning team, um, two people in particular who kept us in line were Julia Ostapij and Kelly Horty. Julia's with the Department of Energy. She's a fellow there and Kelly Horty works on our Mighty Events team. Um, they were both a pleasure to work with and they all managed, they managed us all during the planning um, and managed us behind the scenes the past couple of days. And from Stanford, Naomi Bonus and Mickey Yu, Texas A&M, Valentini Papa, DOE's consultant energetics, Lauren Giles and Jenny Hersfeld, um, who have been with us for many years and are, are great. And then from my own team, Emily Dahl, Debbie Kedian, Diane Rigos, in a in addition to Kelly, who I mentioned earlier. And last but not least, uh, my partner in, in all this, who has really been a source of um, support and inspiration, US C3E ambassador, Maria Vargas from the Department of Energy. And now I would also like to thank our sponsors. I will not read out their names like yesterday, but we so appreciate them and we wouldn't be here without them. So, um, We'll see you all next year. Remember that nominations are open. Um, either a colleague or get somebody to nominate you if you think you're a, a good candidate for a C3E award. Um, you can start out on our portal with a nomination and return as it's very user friendly, return as often as you like. Just be ready to submit by February 25th of next year. So we will see you all. I'm so happy to say that 1,800 of you participated. Um, that is quite a bit more. That's you know getting towards eight times what we normally have been able to um, to involve the numbers of people. And we will see many of you in person. I hope um, at MIT in September, October. We'll announce the dates when we have them. And um, we will absolutely include the rest of you on an interactive webcast. Um, we're very excited um, to have shared all this with you. And thank you. And um, that's it.